been occurring for many years now and has been having many negative effects on people from all over the world. Acid rain is a type of air pollution because it originates by the contamination that occurs in the air. This is a problem that is happening not only in Europe but all over the world. Because of the contents of high sulfuric acid and other chemicals, it is predominant in large cities that contain a large amount of factories that cause pollution. In Europe, it occurs from Poland up to Scandinavia. It takes a terrible toll on agriculture and destroys the beauties of the environment. This is definitely a global issue. Acid rain is caused by a chemical reaction that begins when compounds like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are released into the air. These substances can rise very high into the atmosphere, where they mix and react with water, oxygen, and other chemicals to form more acidic pollutants, known as acid rain. Sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides dissolve very easily into water and can be carried very far by the wind. As a result, the two compounds can travel long distances when they become part of the rain, sleet, snow, and fog that we experience on certain days. In fact, human activities are the main cause of acid rain. Power plants release the majority of sulfur dioxide and much of the nitrogen oxides when they burn fossil fuels, such as coal, to produce electricity. In addition, the exhaust from cars, trucks, and buses release nitrogen oxides and sulfur into the air. These pollutants cause acid rain. Now it is our responsibility to do everything within our reach to stop this problem by modifying our lives as much as possible to pollute the air as less as possible. In 1990, Congress passed a law called the Clean Air Amendment of 1990. The law stated that EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, should start an acid rain program. This program limits the amount of sulfur dioxide that power plants release into the air and give allowance to the power plants to cover their sulfur, sulfur dioxide emissions. This law also reduces the amount of nitrogen oxides that power plants can release. Scientists have found many different solutions to this issue. One of the solutions is to reduce the amount of sulfur dioxide released from the coal burning power plant. Instead of using regular coal, you can use coal that contains less sulfur. Another solution is for the power plants to install scrubbers, which would remove the sulfur dioxide from the gases, leaving the smoke at stack. Other ways you can reduce acid rain is by producing energy without fossil fuels. Instead of using fossil fuels, people can use renewable energy sources like solar panels and wind turbines. Renewable energy sources don't produce as much pollution as fossil fuels. Acid rain actually has some benefits to it. Acid rain actually reduces global warming. Global warming occurs when certain gases like carbon dioxide are abundant in the atmosphere. The gases block the excess heat from leaving the Earth's at atmosphere. This is called the greenhouse effect. One of the gases that block the excess heat is called methane. Methane is produced by the process of decompo decomposition of plant materials by microbes in the wetlands. Scientists have estimated methane to be 21 times more powerful than carbon dioxide when it comes to affecting global warming. The wetland soils contain archaea which are organisms that use sulfur for energy production. These archaea compete with the methane producing microbes. It has been shown that in places that have a significant amount of acid rain, that the sulfuric archaea outcompete the methane producing microbes which, are, which decreases the methane output in those areas. Scientists now claim that acid rain actually reduces the output of methane from the wetlands. Scientists have experimented by applying sulfates into the amount found in the acid rain to wetland areas. They have found the uh, sulfates reduce methane by 30 to 40 percent. The acid rain may be working to balance the effects of global warming.